my dear viewers and dear students welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about the course of ureters now in this session we are going to discuss about the relations of ureters as we already discussed about the course of ureters in two ways that is course in abdominal part and course in the pelvic part in the same way now we are going to study the relations of the ureters in abdominal part and in the pelvic part if you see the relations of the abdominal part there is no difference in relations of the abdominal part between two sexes but there are certain differences between the right and left ureters in the case of pelvic part there is no difference between the relations of two sides but uh, there are differences between the ureters of the two sexes okay in this session we are going to discuss about the abdominal part relations of ureters on both sides okay both ureters are uh, retroperitoneally present throughout the course most of the structures which are located retroperitoneally are related to these uh, ureters major vessels like aorta and their branches inferior vena cava and their tributaries are also present retroperitoneally some other uh, organs like uh, kidney ascending colon ureters and um, pancreas some part of the duodenum descending colon etc some of the organs are located retroperitoneally and some of these structures are related to the uh, ureters okay just please uh, keep these things keep in mind and see what are the structures related to right and left ureters anteriorly on the right side the third part of the duodenum is only related to the anterior aspect of the right ureter the first and the second part of the duodenum are in intraperitoneally present okay only the third part of the duodenum is related to the right ureter and also some of the vessels which are uh, branches of the aorta or crossing on the anterior aspect of the ureters or the right gonadal artery some of the iliocolic vessels like right colic artery iliocolic artery and also the root of mesentery crossing on the anterior aspect and the terminal ileum also uh, related um, anteriorly to the ureter and also the another one is the peritoneum is also related on the anterior aspect of the right ureter on the left side the ureter is um, related to peritoneum anteriorly and some of the uh, branches of um, aorta are also crossing on the anterior aspect one is the left gonadal artery left colic artery and then the sigmoid colon and the root of the sigmoid mesocolon are also related on the left ureter now we will see the posterior relations of the both ureters the posterior relations are common to both sides so uh, the structures which are related to the ureters on the posterior aspect or the first one is the psoas major muscle okay on the right and left side and also the geneto femoral nerve which is piercing the psoas major muscle so this one is also related on the posterior aspect of the uh, ureter and then the tips of the transverse processes from l2 to l4 are also related on the posterior aspect of the ureters and the terminal part of the common iliac artery are also related posteriorly on the both sides of the ureters and the next one is the medial relations of the right ureter and the left ureter now 
First we will see the right ureter. The only inferior vena cava is medially related to the right ureter. In the case of left ureter, the left gonadal vein which is a branch of uh, inferior vena cava which is uh, medially related to the left ureter and if you see still further medially inferior mesenteric vein is uh, related to the left ureter. These are all about the relations of the both ureters. In the next session we are going to discuss about the uh, relations of the pelvic part of the ureter. Thank you.